a legend in the pool and now a leader out of it. Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps was a fixture on the medal stand for the past four Olympics and is now weighing in on the historic decision to postpone the Tokyo Games by a full year. The record 23-time Olympic gold medalist retired after Rio in 2016. Look who's back on top. He's praising the Tokyo postponement, but also sounding the alarm in stark terms on what that could mean for his peers in a recent interview with NBC Sports. I really, really hope we don't see an increase in athlete suicide rates because of this, because the mental health component is by far the biggest thing here. It was the right decision, but it breaks my heart for the athletes. Phelps has been an outspoken advocate for mental health since leaving the water, citing his own struggles with it throughout his career. Adding in the same interview, it's not something that's going to go away, but I've learned that my depression and anxiety don't hold me back. They make me who I am. I was one of the world's most successful athletes, but I was lost. He's discussed mental health as an investor and paid endorser for the mobile therapy app Talkspace. I realized I couldn't handle this by myself. And in an interview with us in 2018. I finally realized that I can ask for help and it's okay to not be okay. And, and for me, that's what changed my life. That concern about the human toll is a timely one for the hundreds of millions of people across the country now confined in their homes with so many worried about rent, bills, and the anxiety and uncertainty of the pandemic. And Phelps hopes his influence and advocacy can be felt far beyond the pool. And we are so very happy to have Michael Phelps with us this morning. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Good, good. How are you? I'm great. So put this in perspective for us. There are athletes who have been training for years for yeah. the Olympic Games that were set for 2020. And then they were told that those games would be postponed. From an athlete's perspective, tell us what that athlete is going through. Well, I have to first thank every medical and emergency responder out there, um, everyone working the front line. Um, those those are our heroes right now, and and um, they're they're keeping us, I guess, surviving us. I mean, whatever you want to say, they're they're keeping us alive. So um, for the athletes, it's it's tough. You know, you go through something for four years, and and um, you know we we kind of know exactly when it's going to come, and our bodies are ready for it, and then we have to wait so it's it is challenging but you know i think that the the biggest thing now is everybody to look at this as an opportunity an opportunity for another year to you know to kind of work on some fine or i guess fine tuning some small things that that are going to help you make a big difference uh, i interviewed simone biles earlier savannah and i did and she said she cried when she heard the news <laughs> and it's kind of hard for non-athletes to look at that and say well why wow it, it feels like that because it's it's more than just a competition. This is something they've it's waited for their whole lives. Yeah, um, and and it's difficult. And and you know I, I've tried to replay what I would be going through emotionally at, at this very time if I was still competing, and um, it, it, it's hard to really kind of comprehend it. Um, so you know I think the biggest thing is is for all the athletes and um, you know especially try to take this as a positive. Um, you know, try to work on, like, like I said, some of those small things, but really, 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 I want everybody to make sure that they're, they're taking care of their mental health. It's something that's even more important now. Well, you said something that was just so jarring in the piece we did. You said, I really hope we don't see an increase in athlete suicide because this really is a mental health game right now. I mean, I'll be the first one to admit I'm, I'm somebody who still struggles with, with depression and anxiety. And, and, you know, I've had a day or two, you know, over the last three weeks where, where it has been difficult. And, and I'm sure there are people out there who are going through the same exact thing. Um, so again, it's, it's something that's so important to make sure we're all getting, um, you know, we're, we're, I guess we're, we're paying attention to our mental health as we are our physical health. And you said your phone is always open for athletes to call you. What advice are you giving folks in this moment? Um, I think, you know, if, if you are in a spot where you need help to reach out and ask for help. You know, it was something that was very difficult for me to do, and, and I can understand if somebody's going through that. Uh, and, and also, at the same time, it's, it's something that changed my life. Uh, you know, to be honest, it saved my life. So, um, you know, I, I uh, am still myself reaching out for help. Um, I still have a therapist that I talk to, and, and um, they, they help me just be me. 
Wow. Well, can I just ask, you're, you're at home, you and Nicole, you got three kids. How is that whole situation going? Um, it, it's actually uh, pretty awesome right now. We've, we've uh, you know, we're, I guess we're, we're homebodied people uh, in general. So it's, it's kind of nice for me being able to spend more time with, with the ones who I love. Um, you know, they're, they're still asleep now and I'm looking forward for <laughs> Booms and Bex to, you know, right now ask for pancakes or french toast whatever it is this morning and then it's off to the school work with mom so you know it's uh it's a always moving household here and and uh it's awesome it's fun and lastly what's the verdict on the mustache are we keeping it i think for right now yeah it's uh i mean why not um it's it's uh I don't know. It's kind of funny. The kids think it's hilarious, so we're going to keep it. All right, Michael, it's great to see your face. Thanks again for the good words. Good to see we you guys. appreciate you.